Coming up in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bramble. A bramble is a very simple cocktail, gin, lemon sugar and a bit of blackberry. I'm going to show you how to make that and it's just a, such a lovely refreshing drink, especially when it gets a bit sunny outside. Uh, most cocktail bars will have it on their menu up and down the country. So if you want to know how to make it, then stay tuned. Welcome to video five of this eight part uh, cocktail series or mini series that I'm doing on YouTube uh, specifically for, um, well, anyone that wants to know how to make these drinks really, but uh, I keep getting asked all the time by my hen parties, by my birthday parties that I do. Um, is there any way we can watch how you make these videos because we love them so much we want to make them for ourselves at the next party. So these are what the videos are all about. Up until now my channel has been predominantly about gin tastings and uh, reviews and gin and tonics and all that kind of stuff but we're starting to roll out a few cocktails now. So let's get into it. Bramble, really simple, it gets served in a nice rocks glass like that. We're going to make it in our shaker. Very, very simple. First ingredient you want is your lemon. Uh, now I'm just going to whip that in half, uh, I'm going to juice it, now this is a Mexican elbow or citrus squeeze, whatever you want. How to use this, the lemon doesn't go that way, contrary to popular belief, because you'll get soaked, but you get it in the eye, there's nothing worse than lemon in the eye. Turn it around, upside down, and just very, very gently just squeeze it in. Uh, now sometimes I would measure this but I know these lemons, I use uh, quite a lot of these lemons and get them, um, get them from my uh, fruit and veg lady, so I know how juicy they are. I'm gonna need the whole lemon in there, okay? Which should be about 25 mil, one shot, okay? So there we go. Very gently, squeeze that in there, get rid of that. So that's our lemon juice. You can see that should be about bang on 25 mil of lemon juice in there. Now. The next ingredient you want is your sugar syrup. As I said in the mojito in the first video, equal amounts of granulated sugar boiled down with bottled water keeps for weeks and weeks and weeks in the fridge. That simple. If you want to buy it, every supermarket will sell it. It's in the booze aisle, uh, right next to all the liqueurs and stuff. Yeah, it's different supermarkets sell different brands, but you'll get it quite easily. Now, for me, I need 15, one five mil of sugar in this. If you want it slightly sweeter, then by all means add 25 mil, but I think you should be perfect with about 15 mil of sugar syrup. Okay, so we'll pop that in there. Now, the gin, obviously. Now, you could play about with all different kinds of gin. This is my local one. This is Jake's Gin, named after a really lovely sort of white, black spaniel uh, about five miles away from me now. It's my lovely local gin, London Dry Gin. Sometimes when I do cocktail masterclasses, I rock out Brockman's because, as I say, this is a kind of a blackberry edge to this gin, Brockman's kind of blueberries and blackberries. Uh, it's not a fruity gin by any stretch of the imagination, it's just those sort of berry overnotes, overtones, it's really, really lovely. Another one good for brambles would be Berexten as well, that's a quality one. If you want to go, if you want to throw my caution to the wind, the Monkey 47, that's going to be huge, that's going to be amazing. Um, but, great London dry, 50 mil. Okay. 50 mil double bubble going in there. Now I just want to give this a very, very quick shake. So say, I say in all the video, I'm such a messy bartender. Look at that. So let's just dry it again. Look, I'm terrible. I'm never ever going to work in a five star hotel. That's not me. There we go. Right. There we go. Uh, tin on, slight angle. Just give it a shake. There we go. We've got those. Get rid of the shaker, as I've said in the previous videos, you know, look at the angle and that will just pull nicely out, just like that. No need to whack it on the bar, no need to like force it or anything, it'll just be there. Now, glass. Crushed ice. Fill your glass with crushed ice, there we go. We're gonna take our Hawthorne strainer, remember spring side down, that just stops the ice coming out there. We're not too worried about any tiny shards of ice in this. Just gonna pour that straight through. There we go, that should be perfect. Look at that. There we go, just gonna put a tiny bit more crushed ice in there, just, there we go. Now, you're thinking, where's the blackberry? Where's this coming to it? So we've got our creme de mure. You won't find this in the supermarkets, I'm afraid. Uh, some bars start to use Chambord now, which is actually a black raspberry liqueur. 
Um, very different taste to blackberry. Obviously, it's raspberry, it's not blackberries. But if you want to use creme de mule, um, chambord, by all means, go for it. Uh, this is creme de mule. Sometimes, if I'm doing a lot of events, I will make it. I'll buy some uh, frozen blackberries and then I'll uh, steep it in some. Um, I actually use rum, cheap rum. Uh, steep it in rum for about five or six days and then it's ready. Uh, for my events on sort of Friday and stuff like that, add a bit of sugars to it and job job done. But this is bought in one, just I'll measure actually just for the video about 15 mil. Okay, that's what you want. So 15 mil. You can add more by all means, and just very slowly just pour that through there, and you see it just sort of bleeding through the drink. Can you see that? How cool does that look? Now for the garnish, we are just going to use, because I've got some, I've got blackberries, and instead of using a plastic skewer, I've got a sprig of rosemary. I'm just going to sit that nicely to one side. There we go. You would put a straw in there, but that is as simple as the bramble gets. Sugar, lemon, gin, shake, crown, crown with the crème de mule, job done. The gin, lemon and sugar is the basis of a French 75 of a Tom Collins, all right. Tom Collins should be old Tom Gin, but most bars will use the London Dry these days. So simple, but it's absolutely lovely. So there you go, that's the Bramble. Coming up in, uh, what is this? Number six, I think we're on now. Oh, number six is an old fashioned with a twist. So make sure you catch that one in a couple of days time. Thanks for watching this video. I'd love to know what you thought, so let me know in the comments below. If you don't want to miss any of my future videos, then I'd appreciate you hitting that magical subscribe button and subscribing to this channel. And if you want to follow me on a daily basis, then you can find me every day over on Instagram at Steve the Barman. I'd love to hear from you, so make sure you send me a DM to let me know you found me over on YouTube. If you want to watch more of my stuff right now, then hit one of the on-screen links and that will take you to my most recent or most related video. I've been Steve the Barman. I'll catch you next time.